Welcome to Al Jazari channel. Seamless steel pipes must meet strict quality standards before reaching customers. While our previous videos covered their production, this video explores the finishing and testing processes that ensure strength, precision, and reliability. From heat treatment to dimensional checks and non-destructive testing, every step is crucial. Stay tuned to learn how seamless steel pipes are prepared for real-world applications. As explained before, continuous cast billets are mainly used as starting material to produce seamless pipes. These billets are heated in an automated, computer-controlled rotary hearth furnace to a forming temperature of approximately 1,280 degrees Celsius, 2,340 degrees Fahrenheit. In this cross-rolling mill, the round, solid billets are rolled into hollow shells in a rolling process. After that, the hollow shells are rolled into pipe shells on mandrel bars and rolling stands arranged one behind the other. At this stage, for quality purposes, the wall's thickness of the pipes is checked over its entire length using radiometric measurement. This is followed by reheating to restore the deformation temperature for the subsequent stretch-reducing process. Here, hollow shells are brought back to the correct temperature in a computer-controlled walking beam furnace. Finally, the geometrically finished pipes with their defined diameters and wall thicknesses are produced on the 28-stand stretch-reducing mill without internal tools. After the rolling process, the wall's thicknesses are measured radiometrically over their entire length. The results are presented graphically and documented and are used to control the rolling process. In the rapid pipe cooling system, pipes of up to 150 meters in length are cooled in a controlled manner to achieve specific mechanical properties. Now, the cooled pipes are precisely cut to commercial lengths using a carbide saw. They are then either directed for further processing into the required final product or dispatched as precursor pipes for cold drawing or drill pipe manufacturing. Upon customer request, American Petroleum Institute, API, upsetting as well as special upsetting for drill pipe integral and premium connections are carried out. The pipes are inductively heated at the ends and then compressed to the desired contour in up to three deformation steps using either a mechanical, or a mechanical hydraulic press. In the so-called austenitizing furnace, heating to hardening temperature takes place. This process enables hardening in heat treatment operations or normalization. Rapid cooling induces a defined hardened microstructure, which is a prerequisite for the subsequent tempering process. In the tempering furnace, the hardened pipes are heated to the appropriate temperature and held at this temperature for a defined period. This process achieves the desired quality grade. After that, the tempered or naturally hardened pipes are straightened in straightening machines. The pipes are tested non-destructively using electromagnetic methods and subsequently inspected at the pipe ends using magnetic particle testing. This spectrum includes inspection for longitudinal transverse and oblique defects on the inside and outside surface as well as testing of the wall thickness and the detection of laminations. The wall thickness of the pipes can be tested over their entire length. For the further processing of ready-to-install oil field pipes and other tubular products for the oil and gas industry, two threading lines are available, each equipped with four CNC-controlled threading machines. These systems are used to manufacture threaded connections on the pipe ends, ranging from simple API threads to gas-tight premium connections. The couplings required for the production of ready-to-install oilfield pipes are also manufactured from seamless pipes. The precursor pipes are cut into blanks using pipe cutting systems and then machined into OCTG couplings on CNC-controlled threading machines. After dimensional inspection and non-destructive testing, the couplings are phosphate and delivered for the coupling assembly. The finished couplings are tightened onto one end of the oil field pipes. During this process, the tightening torque and rotation angle of each connection are automatically monitored and documented. 
This is followed by the hydrostatic pressure test, where the pipes are filled and pressurized with an oil-water emulsion before being tested according to prescribed test scenarios, including pressure levels and test durations, depending on their dimensions and quality grade. The threads on the pipe ends must be protected from mechanical damage and corrosion during transport. For this purpose, after the hydrostatic pressure test, a corrosion protection grease is applied to each exposed thread and a thread protection cap is screwed on. On the API inspection line, the pipes are weighed, measured, and if required, permanently marked by hard stamping on both the pipe and the coupling. Production or order-specific data is applied along the pipe body. Finally, the pipes are bundled and prepared for shipment. This comprehensive manufacturing and quality control process ensures that the oilfield pipes meet the highest industry standards for durability, precision, and reliability. With rigorous testing, protective measures, and meticulous final inspections, the pipes are fully prepared for safe transport and efficient performance in demanding oil and gas applications. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Al Jazari for more in-depth engineering content. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.